And welcome back to the Xavier Banks Road to Glory. We're in week 11 now. It's going to be a tough matchup against the Stanford Cardinal. As you see, their defense's rating is A-. And they don't really give up that many yards on the ground. Well, then again, we also give up the least in the nation. Anyways, big defense, big matchup for Oregon. Number 8 Oregon, number 15 Stanford. We're going there right now. And it's raining, as you can see. We're going midway through the first quarter on the... Play action there. Banks looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Steps up in the pocket. Gets to the outside and gets the first down. What athleticism from the freshman quarterback there. Now Banks on the read option. He hangs on to it. He's got some daylight. And he fumbles the ball. But Braylon Addison picks it up. He gets credit for the 16-yard run. But, uh oh, that looks like Banks was on the ground. He only sat up for one drive. So as you see, Banks there making the pass to Huff. Josh Huff to be exact. His, sh his shoulder's fine. You could see he was holding it before. Now Banks trying to make some time in the pocket again. Scrambles to the outside, but it can't get the corner sacked. And that would end the drive for Oregon. Now in the second quarter, still 7-7 seven, seven, seven now. Banks going for a run. Gets out, and he just drops the ball. But an Oregon player was able to fall on it. Now looking for someone to pass. Who finds his old buddy, Keenan Lowe. 21-yard reception. That's going to get them in good territory with three minutes left in, th in the second now banks oh he gets lit up and i don't know what he was thinking he just held on to it on that read option and wow big hit there so on third and eight handoff to marshall who gets brought down and that would end the drive giving oregon you would think a field goal but no they missed the field goal there so second still second quarter in his first interception of the game and ill-advised pass and yes he wants that one back now stanford's up 17 to 7 early in the third quarter banks airs it out long he's got a man and it's keenan low for the touchdown huge touchdown play to bring the oregon ducks within three still in the third quarter now banks looking for someone to throw to finds chip Ke not chip kelly it's just kelly there i want to say chip kelly but it's not chip kelly anyways Banks, big completion there. Now second and twelve, keeps it on the on the jet sweep there. Banks now, oh he gets the corner. He's got some running room. Gets down to the twenty for the first down, and yeah, he's getting fired up about this now. So second and twelve, eighteen seconds left in the third. Looking for somewhere to find throws. Finds Kelly, touchdown, B.J. Kelly. That's a huge grab, putting Oregon in the lead with the extra point. It's going to be twenty-one seventeen, as you see. Banks here in the pocket takes a huge hit and is, but is able to get the pass off for the touchdown. He did kind of he did get right back up though. Credit. Oh, no, he slid down a bit. So we're going to fast forward a bit. He did hurt hair to shoulder a bit on the play. Banks on the read option again, able to get just into the end zone. Almost didn't make it as you see Banks getting fired up with BJ Kelly. It's now 28-25, 2 minutes left to go in the fourth. Airs it out to Keenan Lowe on a second and 19 and gets a first down, making Stanford call their last timeout. So that would end the game. 28-25 Oregon, as you see Banks celebrating with his teammates. Not the best day through the air. Kind of an average day all around. But he did get three touchdowns as we move into the meeting at home with Utah. And this should be an easy win for Oregon here as they pretty much hold every advantage on this utah team so number seven oregon now they moved up to number seven utah visiting eugene and they're going all highlight well almost all yellow here as banks on second and inches looking for somewhere to go with the ball decides to keep it himself and he thought about throwing just gets enough for the first down though keeping the chains uh keeping the drive alive i should say now banks looking for somewhere to throw finds huff the defender tried to bat it away missed it and that gave josh huff a huge 28 yard reception and he's rightfully pumped up about it. Now second and five. Looking for somewhere to go with the ball. Finds Huff streaking down the sideline. Touchdown. And yeah, that's right. Banks is getting pumped up about that. Now first and ten. Seven to three now for Oregon. Banks looking for somewhere to go. Scrambles to the outside. Has some running room. Fumbles the ball again. But he does get the 20-yard rush. He needs to, you know, hang out of the ball. Another read option here. Banks, no one around him. He's going to get some nice daylight. He just tries to cut a bit too much, slowed him down a bit, 
did get down to the 15 yard line and just tosses the ball to the ref. He knows this game is one that Oregon should win. Now seven, still seven to three in the first. Airs it out, but picked off on the goal line by Bleachin or Blecken. I'm gonna say Bleachin. Anyways, not the best effort there. First interception of the game. Now seven and three. Oregon wasn't able to do anything. Oh no, he's a fumbled. He's a fumble. He fumbled the ball. Second turnover of the game for Banks, and he is very disgruntled about that one. Now third and two. Next drive, still in the second quarter. Banks able to pick it up on the option. Nice spin move to get around a defender. Breaks another tackle down to the 40-yard line. Huge gain for Banks on the ground. Now with the play action pass, he has a lot of time to throw. Finds Ly uh, Lyrla there. Colt Lyrla with a 26-yard reception. Huge play to keep the drive moving. Trying to get some more points before the half. Now still in the second quarter and avoids one sack but can't avoid them all and he's sacked for an eight yard loss now third and 18 they need to get something going here banks just looking for something oh he has lots of daylight and he is just gonna get enough decides to slide down he has fumbled a couple times so far this season so he decided to not risk it now on the looks like it was an option for a pitch but he decides to keep it for a 14 yard gain he's getting jacked up first and goal they should get a touchdown here on this drive now or Banks runs into the offender and he just gets swallowed up by the Utah line and that forces Oregon to call a timeout. The coach's not really happy about that right now. Read option play. Banks is able to get around, maneuvers through a defensive line, 13-yard touchdown run, putting Oregon up 14-3. Now in the third quarter, minute left to go. Banks picks up a 15-yarder run, trying to put some more distance between himself or between Oregon and Utah as Banks Gets the outside. He's loving running, but he just can't get enough. Didn't get to the edge as the defender is able to trip him up. Now 14-9 for Oregon. Utah's trying to make a nice comeback, but that's a nice play by Lyra. Snatching the ball away from the defensive back. And that's a huge gain for Oregon. As you see now, Banks looking around. Finds Kelly, and that's going to be inside the 10-yard line. Making Utah call another timeout. So two minutes to go. Banks hands off to Marshall. Byron Marshall for the eight-yard touchdown. And that would seal the game. It finished 21 to 7. Sorry, 21 to 9. Banks, there you see, not the best day through the year, but lots of rushing yards, which is what I wanted with this quarterback. Dual threat. Great player there. As you see the final score, 21 to 9. As we take a look at one of his throws for a touchdown. And that was right. I believe that was the one to hop in the first quarter. And that pretty much said, that was the statement right there. And next week, it looks like they're going to be playing the Arizona Wildcats, the number eight Oregon Ducks, welcoming the seven and three Arizona Wildcats in. Come back, make sure you take a look at this. It'll be an interesting game. We're going to have two, two games again for you. So please come back. And as always, like or subscribe to the channel.